realize what a fool you are. But you got it coming. You have any idea how dumb you reveal yourself? That thing's gonna feel so fine. So one thing, I I don't know if we can just not curse in the first 10 minutes, but I might just censor it, to be honest. Okay. And just censor out the cursing, because that shoots your views up. Not using other people's music or content shoots your views up. It's uh, a bunch of stuff like no that. Kidding, There's huh? little algorithm okay. tricks that I've been right. doing so much research on. Um, I wanted to try to buy some promotional campaign for this, but they're really weird. Like, What do you mean? So if you want to promote a co- uh, podcast on like a campaign where like you promote it for like a few months, mm-hmm. you have to like – you have to already have a definitive fan base, one. Okay. And then two, it, it like can't be inappropriate. So like those fan bases, you have to build on a separate way. Like the all the pod – all the promotion mm-hmm. services, they're like we're not promoting anything explicit, mm-hmm. period. Interesting. So, like the Tom Segura's and Joe Rogan's, they built their own fan bases first. Yeah, and that's kind of how that came into play. But like all these services, they're like, no, we're not going to promote like how ridiculous explicit shit. It's like how, what the how fuck ridiculous? Not? Like, yeah, it, it's twenty twenty two. Right. If you want to, you can see nude bitches on Twitter. Exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. There's so much. The shit. world is explicit now. Exactly. Yeah. So that's and pretty funny. Fucking campaign services, but. Welcome back to the Brutal View. This is uh, Welcome back. a couple weeks, huh? Season four, a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, episode 76. We're going to switch it up a little bit this season. Uh, if you want to call into the podcast, leave a voicemail uh, mm-hmm. or just send us a text, tell us a story. 603 922 4074. We're changing genders this season. We are changing genders, yeah. Yes. I'm in the process right now. Yes. Um, do you have a gender in mind that you're changing to? Um, I wanted to create my own gender, so I went to the doctor and they're like, what gender do you want? And I, you know, they had a box. Uh, it was like multiple choice, right? And they go, you know, male, female, other. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was kind of funny, so I put other, yeah. right? And then the doctor's like, oh, so you have to name for other. That's pretty interesting. No one's ever done that. And I looked at him like, haha, yeah. And he's like, all right, so uh, what are you looking for? I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, explain to me your ideal genitalia. And explain to me your ideal hormone balance, right? So yeah. I'm like, no shit. So I can pick, right? Okay. Um, so I think I'm just going to be loaded up on all kinds of am- amphetamines, you know. Okay. Um, I think I, I want that to be my hormone balance. Okay. Just, just be, straight amphetamine. Just straight amphetamines. You're gonna be I want to be tripping balls. <laughs> I, I want to be. I want to be tripping. <laughs> I want to be powerful. Yeah. Um, as for genitalia, I was, I was gonna say, what does that mean down there? So I was thinking about getting a, a T Rex tail right here. Okay. Like a whole like like scaly. Like I want it to be thick. Yeah. And then I want it to go and, and reach real thin. Nice. And I want it to have spikes on the top, like a nice, like a dinosaur. Does that replace your penis or is yes. it addition? No, oh. it's my new genitalia. It replaces. Okay. Does it have balls? That's a really insensitive question. I'm sorry. That's really. I have insensitive. to start this year off a little. That's really I'm insensitive, yeah. and like I, I, I don't appreciate that. I, I understand where you're coming from. So, Let me rephrase the question. Does it have smaller scales on the bottom of it? Uh, it has balls. <laughs> it does have balls. It okay. does have balls. It does, balls. <laughs> it does have balls. It does have balls. Yeah. Um, I, I was looking at breasts, breasties, but uh, I think I'm going to pass on the breasties. Passing on the breasts. Passing okay. on the breasties. Yeah. I think the amphetamines in the tail will take me uh, pretty far. Yeah. Um, personally, uh, I like some hair, but that's the one thing the doctor said he couldn't do. He said, okay. we can sew a dinosaur tear tail to your abdomen. Fine. No worries. Yeah. But hair on your head. No, that's not, that's, that's not, that's, that's not humanly possible. Yeah. 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 So. The dinosaur is humanly possible. With the but dinosaur, the hair is just the hair is that's too, too much. Far. It's too much. It's, <laughs> too much. It's, it's it's. What are you having sex with? Because you have to have like a a spike proof condom, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, I'm I'm currently seeking others. I'm currently seeking others. If you identify as an other, okay, uh, please let us know. Yeah. And if you're willing to take this dinosaur tail. Uh, and I mean that literally, yeah, f- not figuratively, uh, nice, literally. Then yeah. uh, please let us know, because I'm I'm looking for partners. Yeah, nice. 
Mm-hmm. So I um I uh and what I, about yourself? I, I think I'm gonna stick with, with my current genitalia, but um, Oh interesting. I want to identify as something different though. Oh, okay. You cool. know? So, so it's not like I'm gonna as? change genders scientifically. Okay. I, I'm going to uh identify mm. as uh what is it called? Mer- Merloc? I think is it is what its name a Merloc? is. A Merloc or Mer- like one of those blizzard Mirlurk or something. Uh, one of those blizzard monsters. Kind of, yeah. They're like a water dwelling monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. want to identify as a Merloc? Yeah, I think that's accurate. I think that that kind of fits. You yeah. know, it's a uh, it's on yeah. a reptile family. Yeah. Um, and mm-hmm. I want my my pronouns are going to be Mer and me. So like Mer, Mer would like yeah. to. Mer would Mer is getting a, a hot. This chocolate. Mer would like a hot chocolate. Exactly. Yes. Can you please get me a okay. hot chocolate? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and that's really confusing, right? Because if you go to Starbucks and someone goes, well, uh, "Get me a hot chocolate." Yep. Right. And they'll hand it to that person. And right. Say, no, no, no. And I'm get like, no, no, me. no. Like me yeah. as in. I'm like that's insensitive. And that's if you do that again, uh, I yeah. will have a lawsuit. So. Um, oh, you're you're actually waiting until the second time. Uh, I'm yeah. usually the first time. Just sue them. No, no, no. I'll, I'll give you. No, know, really. So you're patient, huh? Benefit wow. of the doubt. Yeah. Wow, 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 you know, wow, wow. mistake first. Wow. Fool me once. <laughs> Fool me once. Yeah. <laughs> Fool me I twice. hear you, man. I hear you. You gotta get. You gotta get the bag. You yeah. Get paid. Yeah. You know what I mean. Tried kissing a guy recently. Didn't work. Not gay. Not bi. Tried jerking off <laughs> hentai. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh, did you do, try doing that too, yeah, huh? Also tell, didn't tell me, work. tell me. I'm, I'm a little bit more interested in that one. Okay, you well, tell me a little bit about, about yeah. that. Yeah. Um. So true story. True story. Okay. Yeah, cool. Both. Um. But yeah, for the both, hentai huh? part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for the hentai all part. Right, uh, all right. All right. All right. I um. Cool. It is hentai, right? I feel like you always correct me. It's no, hen- you're saying it right. Hentai. Yeah, I used yeah. to say hentai. I used that to say hentai. 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 Okay, and those were wrong. It's hentai. Yeah. So um, I didn't look up any of the ones that you sent me. Okay. I uh I actually stumbled across it on regular porn video. Right. I I, happened, as one does. Yeah. I was watching uh some porn. I went down a rabbit hole, rabbit hole, rabbit hole. That's the way it goes. And then it eventually got into like parody porn where it was like a parody of a movie. Mm. And then that same thing was parody animated version of that movie porn wise. And uh okay. this one specifically was all cartoons, which oh. I thought was strange. So I was like, what okay. kind of cartoons? What cartoons are you talking about? It had a little bit of everything. Like the whole related videos was like, like Simpsons, exactly, Futurama, Futurama, Simpsons. Yeah, those ones are pretty strange. And then it goes into like Teen Titans and shit like that. Yeah, those ones are. Popular. Which I was those like, weird. exactly. Those mm-hmm. ones had like five million views. So yeah. those are the ones I checked out. Yeah. Well, uh, well, you got to understand too. The market forum is there. I mean, you're a yeah. young kid. You're discovering porn. You watch Teen Titans Go growing up. Okay. Yeah. And you're gonna stumble on uh, Starfire getting. Blasted in the ass. Yeah, Starfire and Jinx were the two that kept showing up. Yeah, and yeah. Raven. The, the, That's who it is. Raven. Cyborg. Cyborg comes up a lot too. I don't remember exactly who it was, but I, I there's a strange amount of uh, yeah. uh, of porn like that out there. So it was a lot. Um, so you couldn't get off. You couldn't get your rock well, off. Well, so that's the thing. I went into it hard mm. and then kept trying, mm. and it just didn't do it. Mm-hmm. I just kind of mm-hmm. lost interest each time. Right. So then I went to a straight. Hentai one, a whole Japanese one. Okay, that just had all. It was Asian characters as the title. Right. Uh, no English subtitles. It was like Oof, straight. That's actual rough. hentai. That's rough. So I went in that one, and I was like, eh, better than the cartoon ones, than, yeah. the, than the Teen Titan shit. Mm-hmm. Still, just lost Didn't interest. Do it for you. Yeah, couldn't do it. I yeah. did try though. I tried. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> It sounds like you did to yeah. an extent. Uh, I mean, even me, even I don't watch the ones with no subtitles. Yeah, right? you yeah. gotta watch the subtitles. You gotta know what the fuck's going on. Do you dude. enjoy like the um the ones where they're like Japanese or Chinese more than like an American version of a hentai? So, uh, Western cartoon porn is a real category, and um, yeah, I don't find that it does much for me. Yeah, I will say, um, there's a lot of ads for it. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you'll you'll be swiping and be like, oh, this March Simpson just getting dogged, raw dogged yeah. by Bart, right? Right, right, um, yeah. But no, I know, there's some weird there's incest. There's some strange ones, one, yeah. Related cartoons of those. A lot of those, and I have a, th- I actually have a theory about this. Okay. I have a theory because I, I believe that you're interacting with these uh, characters, like, maybe on a daily basis, right? Or, like, boom. Facts. Love it. Facts, yep. right? Yeah. And uh, it's so innocent, and it's not sexual at all, mm. right? And then it's it's taboo. So when you sexualize something that's not sexual in the slightest, and it's something that somebody interacts with 
frequently, I feel like it's uh yeah, it, it becomes something. I could see that you know too I mean? because like it's it's naughty. Like oh yeah, this right. is, I've always seen this this one way, but this way is not how it's supposed to be. Like happened. let's be real. <laughs> like when we were going, dude, when I was going to high school, there's this one high school teacher that she just did it for me, bro. Yeah, yeah, I've had a few of those. You know, and yeah. I, I gotta say, I don't think I've ever watched teacher porn after high school. Yeah, I didn't either. You know, but Until during recently, high school, actually, really, yeah. But during high school, I was like, "This is my shit." Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, oh, they had teacher porn in high school, didn't they? They probably had everything still. We yeah. Still. Nowadays, uh, the stuck porn is really popular. Very popular. Yeah. Uh, what else is? Oh, stepbrother porn is really popular. Step everything. Step everything. Yeah, is really popular, yeah. which sucks because some of those videos have like some decently quality. Sex scenes. They yeah, have some good actors, but they. Some good scenes. I was gonna say good actors and shit like that, but they really drive yeah. home. <laughs> it's not incest, but it's almost incest. It's almost. It's, like, okay. it's as close as you can get. Yeah, humanly possible, right? Right. Yeah. I, was like, I don't know if I want the whole storyline on a lot of those. Yeah, it's but... pretty. It's pretty interesting, man. It's yeah. uh, hey, twenty twenty two, baby. Yeah, welcome. What is your? Uh, you got any resolutions or anything? You got any? I hate resolutions. I do too, but I I will say this. I hate them. I'm not gonna go on Tinder. I'm not going to do any dating app type Why? shit. I'm done with it. I don't know. Why? It, it didn't make me happy the last uh, time, the last make, few times. You didn't you know? like it? I enjoyed the sex and that was it. Yeah. And at this point, it's like, all right, I'm just kind of using them for sex. They're using me for sex. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm if getting, there's a mutual understanding if, and you yeah. both get it, then it is what it is. Um, but if you're doing it for your mental health, totally agree. Yeah, I, I think it's more totally. mental health. Yeah. I kind of just want to focus on – productive yeah. shit instead of just trying to get my nut you know mm -hmm. even though we're in our 20s so this is just going to keep happening to us we're going to want our nut but i don't know it's the way it goes man yeah. that's the way it goes man yeah yeah I, I i know you have the same opinion man but i hate people that wait until the end of the year to set a goal and then only set that goal for the next two or three weeks yeah and, drop and that's it. always what happens and that's always what happens with always everybody. what happens you know i'm, I'm of the opinion if you want to lose weight you fucking do it a couple yeah. of years ago Stop 2019 being a bitch. that's what i say 2019, I decided that I would go on keto, and it just so happened to be that at the end of the year, it wasn't anything in particular. I just right, decided right. to go on keto. Yeah. By April, I'd lost like 50 pounds. Yeah, no, and you that's I mean? that's progress right there. That's actual. So, yeah. Um, if you have a goal, fucking do it. That being said, that being said, this is really boring, and this is a far departure from what we've been talking about. But I, I'm really trying to practice a little bit more discipline in my daily life, and that's yeah. something I've been doing lately for the last couple of weeks and months. But I did want to bring that up too. You're you're bored. I'm bored. No, you're productivity bored. Oh, bored. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm not that bored. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. Like, thanks for asking. Though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I have a productivity board at right. home, and really, the i the idea behind it is just to keep myself busy. Yeah, keep myself disciplined. I oftentimes go through things, and I just be like, oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, and then when I pass that, I don't want to do this. I reach another barrier that goes, oh, I really don't want to fucking do it. Right. This. Yeah, and then when I pass <laughs> that barrier, I have another barrier that goes, I could just do anything else instead. Yeah, so like, I put these walls in front of myself. And I, I really hate doing shit that I need to do. Um, so just lately, just having a lot of discipline with shit, you know? Yeah. Like if I, if I, for example, you know, take the trash out of the bin and I leave it next to the bin and usually I'll go, oh yeah, I'll take that out tomorrow. Morning. Oh, I hate doing that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But lately I'm just like, fuck it. Just take it out yeah. right now. Yeah. Right fucking now. I do. I'm, I'm also very guilty of that. I'll put trash yeah. out. Like it's six PM one night. Yeah. And then I'll just leave it. Like I'll take it out in the morning the next morning. And then I'm two days pass. Yeah, exactly. Two yeah. days pass, yeah. Or I'll get like really busy or I'll stay at work for eleven hours when I was only supposed to stay for eight. So I'm like, I get home and I'm like, I don't want to do this shit. And, and the thing here. is too, for me, like I'll walk by the fucking trash yeah. and I'll look at it and I'll be like, damn, I should do that. Yeah. I'll be like, I'll do it later. I got time later. Yeah. Like, right. oh, I have tomorrow, I have off. So yeah. I'll just do it tomorrow. There's always the time later. There's always the time later. Yeah. So I save a lot of things for future Ruben and future yeah. Ruben hates current Ruben. Yeah, hates them. Right, future Ruben and and present Ruben. I mean, they don't they don't they get don't along. Click. They don't click. <laughs> yeah. They don't click because present present day me will leave things for future me. And, yeah, and, right. Yeah. And then I'll hate myself for it. Yes. And then I won't do it. Yeah. So uh, right now I'm just focusing on doing the things I don't want to do. Yeah, that's good though. Um, I did want to ask because the, there were some things that were on your board that I had questions about. Like sure. one of them was I changed a lot of them around, but yeah, sure. Yeah, one of them was um. Uh, you wanted to stop having sex with animals. What was that about? <sighs> You're gonna ask that on the podcast. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that was that a private piece? Of I it? mean, 
See it a little bit. That and the liking black people more. Those were the two ones. That yeah. I well, about. that one I'll I'll just say I'll probably just like black people more than anybody else. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You're like that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. What else do you put on a productivity board? Have anyway? you actually put any like abstract shit on there? Is it all productive shit? Mm, I've put a couple ads, abstract things. Yeah. I added a goal that I want to save an X amount of dollars by an X amount of time. Okay. Um, that's good. A yeah. couple like quotes and and things that I you know manifest yeah um like i genuinely believe in the principle of favorability meaning if you want something if you work hard towards something then um the stars kind of align for you to achieve it mm-hmm. to an extent right yeah no i think so yeah. you know what i mean it's you put not that out like in the universe it comes back in a way it comes back in yeah. a weird way you yeah. know if only because you put yourself out there and people are responsive right like there are a lot of factors that play into it but um yeah, I have mainly just productive shit on there, and yeah. I'll walk. I put it right in my living room, so I walk by it every day. Oh, good for you! And I'll be like, "What time is it now?" Okay, I should be doing X. And what am I doing right now? Am I not doing it? All right, well, dude, last night, dude, I had this moment last night. It was Friday. I got home from work, and it's just so easy for me to go. Okay, I'm done with the work. I'm going to shut the computer. Forget about it until Monday. Okay. But I, dude, I sat there and I fought with myself for five minutes. I'm like, just fucking do the things you got to do before Weird. Monday. Yeah. Just fucking do it, bro. Yeah. Like, don't wait until Sunday. Don't wait until Monday. And I, had, I did this big sign. I was just like. Ah, fuck it. Like, I'll just do it. And I just did it. I yeah. just did all of it, bro. Yeah. So Monday's going to roll around and I'm not going to have a thing to do. I did that exact same thing like Wednesday or Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Dude, I got back from work decently late. I worked like a 10-hour day. Um, I didn't get everything I needed to do done that day. Right. And I was like, I still got tomorrow and Friday. But I right. did that same thing. I fought with myself. I actually smoked first, surprisingly. Yeah. Which yeah, I know, and I still wanted to. After after mm-hmm. I smoked, I sat there. I'm like, I don't. I'm just gonna play video games. Or I'm gonna watch fucking TV. Why don't right. I just fucking do the work? Literally, dude. like stop being a bitch about literally it. Just do dude. the fucking work. And literally, I did. yeah. yeah. So. And smoking makes it so so much tougher because you're like, oh, I'd rather eat. Yeah, I'd rather do anything. I'd rather sit on my phone and browse Instagram for three hours. Yeah, right. Than do anything productive. Yeah. So like, I, I've just been cutting that shit out, man. Yeah. Um, in realist in reality, because I want status. I want things. I want to accomplish. So yeah, I have to go uh, chase it. I'm on so. that same path right now, though. I'm, I feel like 2022. I'm really fucking. I'm I'm taking shit a little more serious, even like pod wise. Like mm. I'm doing a lot more shit for this pod now. Like I have. I don't know why I didn't do this before, and this is going to be boring for the listeners. But I have like a prerequisite setup now. So this morning, it took me five minutes to set up. It normally takes Word. me almost an hour. Same thing with mm. re- recording the episode. I like I already put all the shit in there, so I just push a button and it's up. Everything's already set up for me. Interesting. I didn't interesting. do that before, which was stupid, which is right. laziness, but right. that type of shit. I'm on that this whole fucking year. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? 2022, baby. Are you, you gonna find it? Are you gonna end it all? Finally, you gonna stop crossing? You're just gonna fucking. I'm thinking that you've had that noose hanging from that lamp like for for months. Yeah, yeah, and honestly, the the whole knot in the top of it, it's been really loose, and I yeah. tightened it. First you tightened of the year. it. First of the year, nice, I tightened dude. it. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been tightening it too. Yeah, slowly. It's, it's like set I, up. Every time I come, I do a little tug. Yeah, get a little tighter because I'm like, if you're gonna fucking do it, I don't want you to fall and live. Like, yeah, I don't want you to exactly. You know. Yeah, and I made it so the rope is perfectly high enough where that even if I put a chair under me, I still have like an inch from the chair. So yeah. there's no matter what, it's it's done. So yeah, before my birthday, that's that's the goal. Dude, congrats! Yeah, no I want to. I want to be here because I want to see it happen. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Morbid curiosity. We'll do a. We'll do a pod of it. You can oh, can we do it. a special? Yeah. I'll be like, and now he's turning blue. Right. This is normal. This is just a part of the <laughs> this process. This is normal. <laughs> have I serious? Yeah. Seriously though, have you ever seen a video of a, of a man be euthanized? Yes. Yeah. No, I have. Have you had? Yeah. Really? What do you think? Which video did you see? Well, it was that's fucked.com. It was back in the day. Those uh, fucked up so videos. I don't mean a man getting killed. I mean a man being euthanized willingly. Well, yeah, well, I've seen a few on there. So there was uh, somewhere assisted suicide were a few on there. There was a guy uh, that hung himself, guy shot himself in the I've head. I've seen that, so yeah. Those, yeah. Um, and then I saw people getting murdered as well. But uh, I mean, because of how young I was, I think it fucked me up. Yeah. But I was over it in a couple weeks. Yeah. You know? Then yeah. I watched more of them. Then I kind of liked it. <laughs> that, it. It's strange because you watch more of them and not because you want to participate. No. But it, it makes it, it – it weighs it yes. so much more. It makes it real. Like, yeah. like this is the reality. It's compelling, I'd say. That. As a kid, I watched this video where this guy was getting sentenced – 
And as soon as he got sentenced, like forty years, he mm-hmm. took a gun and shot himself in the head. Okay, and you yeah. can hear the blood. It was like right. glug, 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 right. glug, glug, pouring out of his head. But anyway, I saw this video recently of a man being euthanized. He was elderly. He was sitting on a couch with his wife, and she was against the whole euthanization. But he's like, "I'm fucking dead. Like, yeah. I am long I'm gone. I'm miserable. I'm I don't miserable. Be here. My yeah. body hurts. Like I am long gone." And um, he ate a chocolate. No, no, no. He didn't eat a chocolate. He drank this concoction that's supposed to shut down your organs. Okay. <laughs> and then he ate this chocolate. And while he's eating the chocolate, he just starts to like seize up and choke on his own spit. It was so oh. sad. So that wasn't like a peaceful going. He had like a seizure and an aneurysm. Well, well, no, it was peaceful because the way the concoction worked, from what I understood, is that it shuts down all your motor functions – but before it does that, it renders you unconscious. Oh, okay. That's so you basically good. Yeah. fall into a slumber and then you pass slowly. Right. So he didn't know what was happening by the time his body was convulsing. He, and right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But I just thought it was so interesting. Like they gave him like one final chocolate to have on yeah. his way. And then you die and then it's all over. Right, right. You know? Okay, so would, this Which is, is going to take a very dark turn, but in the same path, mm. you have a child. Fuck him. He gets Wrong diagnosed off. with cancer from birth. He's not going to make it past 10 years old. At eight years old, he's miserable in the hospital. Mm -hmm. You pulling the plug on him? I mean, that's not my decision. He wants you to. He's begging you to. If he's like, Dad, I am in pain like I really. I need to leave. I need to die. I need to go see Grandpa up in heaven. And I'm going to be like, well, he's in hell, son. (laughs) I mean, mean, that's such a fucking tragic situation, (laughs) Isn't that dark? (laughs) Can I put him out myself? Yeah, of course. You're the one who's doing everything. Can I just? Yeah. No, I think. uh, Can I just? Can I just? Work it out with him. You know? Can I just? You're like, hey, son, how do you want to? <laughs> how do you want to go? <laughs> nice. You good? <laughs> One more. <laughs> there we go. Got to get yeah. any any hiccup? Nope. Uh. Yeah, I'm sure we can work it out with him. He's. Uh, mm? What if he wants it to be violent? What are we talking about again? Oh yeah, killing kill, a kid. Killing a kid. Um, <laughs> killing kill a kid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. What if he's like, I need you to beat me to death? <laughs> he's that's, like, he's like, like oh, under I the go. bed, there's a baseball bat. <laughs> I'm like, I'm one step ahead of you, buddy. Yeah, right. Um, no, that's my kid. Obviously not. Yeah. That's tragic. I'd probably know somebody work- else's fucking kid. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. It was like, my parents are dead. Like, yeah. nobody cares about me. Right. I'm 10. I'm going to die. Yeah. Like, literally next week. He's like, punch me just one time as hard as you can right in the in heart. In the throat. Oh, in the heart? Yeah. Just so it stops completely. Oh, that's fucked. If an adult does that, you're cracking ribs right into the heart. So, you'll, you'll kill him. It'll probably be really painful, though. Should we move on? So, uh, do you have any thoughts about Kanye uh, staring out of his window across the street into Pete Davidson's naked ass getting mail? Or <sighs> that's a little bit of a psycho move, right? A little bit. Like I get all the oh, he wants to be near his family and his kids, and but I mean, it's Kanye, you know. <sighs> I feel so bad for him. I do too, but I don't at the same time. I don't at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He, um, yeah, it's pretty funny. It is. You think he watches Kim get plowed? Yes. I think Pete and Kim fuck in the windows on purpose and Kanye staring straight faced. Do you think he jerks off? No, I don't think he jerks off. I think he jerks off. No. There's an interview where Kanye, before he met Kim Kardashian, he admitted that he would watch the Ray J video. Oh, yeah, I remember that video. Excessively. Yeah, I remember him talking about that. That was weird. Yeah, like he was like, oh, I watch it like every single – I was obsessed with that video. Right, right. I'm like, that video wasn't even good. Like there were times where I couldn't even bust to that video. Yeah, I, I never could bust to that video. That oh, video, I, I've definitely busted that, that video. That video was ass. <laughs> yeah. I think by the time that video was out, though, we already had a nice selection on, of porn on the internet. So You know, that's really funny you mentioned that, bro. Um, what age – or rather, what grade were you when you discovered porn? Because oh, I was, I was, I was really, a late bloomer. I was really young, dude. I was 10 years old. Oh, for real? Yeah. Fourth grade. I, I didn't start watching porn until eighth, ninth grade. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But I again, like, definitely has to do with the religious upbringing. Is there, dude, definitely. my mom, bro. Yeah. Bro. Have we've I ever talked told you this before? This. Dude. We've, we've talked about dude, this. Dude, <laughs> I, I think I've said this before. I'm going to say it again, dude. One time I got caught jerking off. My mom bought me a book. 
why it's sinful to, to masturbate. Yes, yeah, scary straight, good little Christian. She made me read the whole book multiple times. Yeah. She goes, did you read it? I'm like, yep. That is abuse. She goes, Re- go over every chapter yeah. and write a synopsis. And right. I did. And then she goes, read it again, motherfucker. Yeah. That is abuse, you know. And I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again, dude. Uh-huh. That book, the one thing that I remember to this day is the book said, it's okay to masturbate, just not to real people. You can do it to your imagination, yes. however. Yeah. I'm I like, think that is ridiculous. kind of follows that too, right? That's so dumb. That's super dumb. That's so fucking dumb. Super fucking dumb. Yeah. I mean, what if you accidentally look at a video? Are you going to hell now? You know what I mean? Like – that whole shit is dumb to it's me. It's ridiculous, but. dude. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we do shit on religion while. every other week. <laughs> but Kim Kardashian, I got to say, yeah. on some real shit, Kim Kardashian is one of the first porn videos I ever watched. Same here. Yeah. One of the first. No, it can't be the same here because that shit came out when, I, when we went to high school, dude. Yeah. So you've been watching porn for like three or four years before that? Well, it wasn't really watching porn. It was just seeing images and jerking off to them. So that same was here, kind bro. of when I was like, oh, shit, here, there's dude. like a whole collection online. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. I realized. And then I was really confused because I was like, girls don't just have gaping holes down there? Yeah. Like, dude, I would be like, they don't have hole. I, I was just convinced it was just a hole. Yeah. Like a gaping hole that you could whistle through. Did I ever tell you about the first time I fingered a girl? I ever tell that story on here? No, no, but I have a pretty funny, interesting uh, story for that too. But you go, yeah, you go. hit me with that. Um, so I was uh, twelve years old, right? And I was, um, oh, yeah. I <laughs> and, uh, My story. I'm nineteen years. Old. <laughs> okay, but you go first. Yeah. Um, go, go, go. Well, so it was with yeah. my first girlfriend. We were both twelve at the time, and she's right. already had sex at this point. Right. Yeah. Right. So we were uh, both young bloomers. To that say is the a least. pretty young bloomer. Yeah. Very young. Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, so. I didn't think this could happen to me because I was 12, but I like, so when you're 18 and you go to finger a girl and you like fuck up, you don't do it right. You touch the wrong spot. You don't know where the hole is. It's embarrassing because you should have some experience at that point. At least your mind tells you that. Like your friends tell you that, you know what I mean? Like, like they kind of, it gives off. You should know better. Exactly. Sure. We're like, oh yeah, you're a prude. You're a pussy. If you don't know this shit, that same thing happened when I was 12. And it was that awkward and it was that uncomfortable and embarrassing. My girlfriend at the time kind of just had to put my hand on her vagina and I didn't know what I was doing. So I was just like pressing all different parts of the vagina thinking oh, I was doing no. – Thinking no, I was doing like, everything. You grab the lobby of the flaps <laughs> and you're yeah. like – Yeah. you like move you're around. Like, la, 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 la. And she's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like that's doing – and you're like, you like that? She goes, no. Yeah. And the, the sad no. part was, dude, I did it for like 45 minutes before she uh, corrected it. Dude. So like we were making out. We were watching uh, some scary yeah, movie at brother. the time. At least you were 12. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think you were, now. You were young. You were young. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I had a moment when I was 19. Yeah. Boom. I don't know. I started feeling it at, at the 45 minute mark. Like I thought I was doing my thing the whole time. And then she showed me, she pushed my hand to the hole and then forced my finger in. And I was like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> I was like, this is dude. what this is. I was like, okay. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah. And it was funny. And out of a lot of my friend group, it was only like me and one other kid who ever get, went anywhere with a girl. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what does it feel like? What does it feel like? I know. You're like, and I was like it to your friends. I was like, it's like sticking your fingers in, an in between two stakes and you're squeezing them together and you're going in and out. And someone was like, that's an extremely good descriptive, like good description of it. And uh, it's, at I the mean, time, we were 12 years old. <laughs> it's as close as you can get, I guess. Now I think I'd describe it a little differently. Yeah. But that's yeah. – I think at the time yeah. I was like, yeah, I had a very strong imagination. Yeah, young boys are really funny. Yeah. I have vivid, vivid, vivid memory <laughs> of being 14, 15 and yeah. my boys took an orange and they made a little hole in it. Yeah, right, and right. And they go, this is what a vagina <laughs> yeah. feels like because like, yeah. I fingered it. I know what it is. I'm like, okay. That's so, a little bit more accurate. Uh, that it, it was yeah. super accurate. Definitely I put my finger more. and I'm like, oh, they're like flaps. In here, right, jail. Like, right. That's how it actually is. Dude. Yeah, yeah. And then you take your fingers out, and they're all pruny. Yeah, because right, you've been in the fucking pussy for thirty minutes. Yeah. What's um, your uh, What's your story? Your nineteen year old story? Uh, I feel like I probably shouldn't share it. Anymore. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Have you shared it already? Or? No, no. It it's was not... it was fine. It was just embarrassing, man. I uh, convinced this girl that I'd had experience before, and I didn't tell her anything. Like it was, she was my first. She was my first everything, dude. And uh, I just. I just wasn't doing the right shit. Oh, no. I was just pressing on the wrong spots and, and <laughs> sucking on the wrong spots. and. 
<laughs> I, I got none of those. What do you mean sucking on the wrong spots? Were you sucking the labia too? Were you fucking? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was doing that. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, sucking on the titty, but yeah, I was like sucking around the nipple. Yeah. I left her bruises on her titties. Dude. I've done that before too. So like yeah. I left her bruise because I was sucking so hard. Right, dude. yeah. I, and I, I stuck on the breast because I'm like, sh- should I move down? Like, yes. Because I didn't know. And if you're my, scared. Because I was scared. I was yeah. like, is she going to let me do? Right, of course, right. She's a hoe, dude. Like all, most girls are hoes. Let's just be but real. But when you're in that scenario, it's so scary. It is scary. It's so scary. It is fucking scary. Yeah. It is fucking scary. Um, but yeah, she was really she was way more experienced than I was. And there's this moment, I've said this before a million times, but there's this moment where I was shaking. No, no. I was so fucking nervous, bro. I was physically shivering and I could not stop. Wow. And she's like, You're shaking. We were making out all this grabbing her second her tits. And we're, she's like, You're shaking. Are you okay? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I was like, uh. I was like, I'm just cool. And she goes, do I need to do I need to turn up the heat? And I was like, because we were in a car, dude, uh, in her car. Oh no! You know what I mean? The back of her whip. Oh, that's even scarier. I feel bad for you. First time, dude. Yeah. In the back of a whip. It was cold outside. It was so hot in the car that the window, windows were all fogged up. Oh yeah. But car, car, anything. Even if you car foreplay, windows yeah. are get fogged. It up. sucks. Yeah. It sucks. Um, yeah, I think actually getting I'll, getting head while driving is the one exception to that. I do like that, but otherwise, sorry. That's that's dope. Getting a girl that well is willing to like do took conv- like months of convincing to get my ex to try. It. Really, dude, yeah. my ex initiated that shit, and I fucking loved it. I, after we started doing it, we did a lot. But yeah, anyways, right, right, right. We don't have to. We don't have to get on that rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, but either way, I was like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not cold. Yeah, I'm fine. and she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's like, okay. Yeah. Then. To this day, I, I'm. I'm sure she knows it was a virgin at the time. Yeah. I was just not touching the right spots. Yeah. Um, Girls don't understand how fucking scary that shit is for it guys. Is scary. It's, it's a lot so of goddamn pressure. scary. It's a lot of pressure. Because, like, it's not like I, I've never met any guys who are like, oh, yeah, like the first time I was hooking up, the girl just did everything. I've never met a guy that said that. It's always mm. the other way around. Mm-hmm. The guy in the But guys talk a lot of shit. Like, dude, before I had sex the first time, I was telling this girl I was going to blow her back out. I don't even know what the fuck that was. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't doing all that. I was talking, <laughs> dude. I was talking shit with this girl, sending her memes about how I was gonna make her come and <laughs> how like Christ. I'm gonna make her beg and call me daddy. Holy fuck! And she was like, "Oh, you're so hot. I'm in. I'm in." See, and we finally the, did it. Yeah, I lasted literally four minutes. And like, right. you know what I said? I said, yeah. "I said the cliche. This never happens. I pro- just give me a couple minutes and we'll go again." And she goes, "No, I'm good." That's sad. That's sad. I said that, bro. Yeah, that's. And hard. she goes, "No, we're fine. Like, we don't gotta continue. That's like, upsetting. We're good. No, no." And I, at the time, I didn't think anything. Else. It, it wasn't until weeks later. I was like, "Oh, that girl was like done." Yeah. She was yeah. Done, dude. You that's know. I always hate that too, but you dude, you set yourself up for failure. I you, did. You talked yourself up way too much. You don't much, talk. You, you listen, man. You don't talk yourself up. You tell her you're gonna suck in bed. See, you're gonna that's what I minutes. do. I do the opposite. I yeah. go. I don't know. I'll be like, don't be impressed. Don't Trust me. Much. And then I go ham. Yeah. And then they're like, okay. There you go. All right. Yeah. So. Don't talk a game. Yeah. Even now, if I'm trying to press a girl, she'd be like, right. "What are you gonna give me tonight? I'm gonna give you a two inch pinch." Right. Yeah. And she goes, "That's it." And how long yeah. are you gonna last? Forty five seconds. Right. Right. How many strokes? Three strokes. Yeah. What's the fastest you've ever came? What's the fastest you've ever nutted? Do we have a nut button? We got a nut. nut. What's the fastest you've ever nut? <sighs> I honestly think mine might. I'm pretty sure it's under a minute. I, I believe I had one of those. I'm going to say mine is probably close to that too. Mine's yeah. probably, I'm going to say probably my first time having sex, dude. You think that was, a, that was the quickest? It was super fucking quick. Like yeah. I went in there missionary and I was out of there within two minutes, maybe, Yeah, maybe three, four minutes. Yeah. Tops. I'd say with, with my, with my girlfriend that when I was 12 and like 13, mm. like she's the one who like introduced me to all the sexual positions. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't know I liked them until, you know what I mean? Like the first time I did doggy with her, I'm pretty sure it was under a minute. Yeah. Pretty bad. Right. Like almost positive. But, right. Yeah. I, we've said this before, but if you want to last, I, I've definitely given this advice, but you just like think about other shit. Yeah. And I'm so good at that, dude. I, oh, I said this before. Yeah. I solve math. That's what my go-to oh yeah is. yeah we've talked my about go this. to is math. You solve math. I'll yeah. think about whatever your anime I'm watching at that time. <laughs> yeah. So I'll be like, what happened in the that last episode? episode? Was so good. And I'll theorize. <laughs> I'm like, what, what's gonna happen next episode? <laughs> like, I'll legit sit there and I'll theorize. And she's like, you're going hard. Like, you're like, like what? Oh shit! I'm sorry. Like, oh shit! I'm still a pussy. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like word, yeah. <laughs> I'm killing it, bro. I'm killing yeah. it, bro. 
I have done that too, where I'm like, I got too deep into what I was thinking about, and I almost like got soft, and I was like, shit, sorry. Well, I, I gotta focus. Yeah. I gotta focus. And like, <laughs> yeah. you focus, like, oh, stop focusing too yeah, hard. Too, like, too much now. Yeah. Because, <laughs> dude, I, I'll be having sex. If you, if she goes, okay, okay, I'm done. Can you just nut already? I could probably come in the next 30 seconds. Yeah, like that's true. Like you really focus yeah. on it. Like if you, you think about it, if you really get into it. If you it. think about really how it feels and right, in, right. out and like all of it, <laughs> like the out. smell. Like if you think about everything, bro, I'll nut so fucking fast. Yeah. But you have yeah. to ignore it to last. Yeah. And, and you, I think you got the, it. You fucking got the other it, thing to that was I was high. When I'm high, I'll come quicker. Uh, high I'm high sex and over. normal sex is completely different. So sex, different. Dude. Completely yeah. different. I could nut sex. off a girl fucking touching my knee if I'm high. You know what I mean? Really? Maybe not so? that sensitive. That's I'm, I'm kind of the opposite. If I'm high, I'm lasting at least an hour. No, it's the opposite. I'm for growing, me. dude. Much quicker. Because it's so easy for me to uh, 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 detach. Oh, yeah. I'm just detached from the whole situation. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm yeah. the opposite. I get really into it when yeah. I'm high. I get like yeah. extra into it. Like I'm really focusing on it. Mm, I've also been there. So I get that. I get yeah. what you're saying because I've definitely been in that situation. Too, yeah. But most of You want to um, switch gears? Because yeah. I have a few. Uh, so we have to talk about this because I don't know if it, if it happened since. But had, did you watch Spider-Man? I have not. You didn't I've watch not, Spider-Man. I pl- dude, I wanted to. I have I had, a few torrent websites you can watch if you want. I, I do too. Yeah. I do too. I visited my brothers and one of them was like, I don't want to watch it because I'm going to watch it with my friends on Thursday. So okay. Like, so yeah. we'll watch it that day. I went back to watch it the next day. And when I got there, my other little brother wasn't there. I'm like, where is he? And my mom goes, oh, he went to go watch Spider-Man with his friends. Yeah, right. I'm like, so fucking both of them already seen it? Yeah. I go to my <laughs> other brother. I'm like, yo, you want to watch it? He goes, I watched it last night. That shit was crazy. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? So no, I haven't seen it yet. I've um, um, I've watched watch it a good four or five times, and I gotta say, <laughs> shut the fuck up, you have. I swear to God, and I gotta say, man, it holds up. It's I so think good, it's the huh? best Marvel movie. Yeah, I really think it is. Yeah. Like people are saying, it's it's fucking incredible. It's just they hit every single thing you want them to hit, and they hit it multiple times. It's like, how do they fucking do that? It's the like, spider. Let's be real, though. Let's be real. Especially yeah. if you're combining all the Spider-Man movies, the tropes create themselves. Exactly. You just exactly. have to follow the tropes. You just have to give comedic... Because Spider-Man... I, I listened to this... Uh, uh, what's this guy's name? The guy that created Spider-Man. Come on. Uh, Kevin Feige? Oh, you mean Stan Lee? Stan Lee. Yeah. Stan Lee was talking about creating Spider-Man. He said the best thing about Spider-Man is the fact that he has a mask and you yeah. can't see his skin color. Yeah. So he could be black under there. He could be right. Asian. He could be white. He could be anything. And he's just like the everyday kid from the from Brooklyn. And that's yeah. so relatable. 100% that's relatable. That's so fucking yeah. relatable, dude. Yeah. Um, so and yeah. I mean, I guess I can spoil that one piece in the movie because obviously you know everything that's happened in the movie so far because mm-hmm. – well, I mean, you, there's so many spoilers online. I haven't got one spoiler. Good. I'll give you the, this piece has nothing to do with All the right. movie, but <laughs> there's a piece where Jamie Foxx, who's Electro in the the Andrew I, I Garfield Spider fan movies. Did you watch the Andrew Garfield ones? Nope. Well, he's in the movie Electro. Well, I did, but they were. F- so fucking boring, I don't remember them. Like, yeah, Electro was in this movie, and he's in all the trailers, so you know he's in the movie. He's mm-hmm. talking to Spider Man at one point and says, like, oh man, I really just, I thought, like, you know, you're from Brooklyn, you help out all the poor people and shit. He's like, I really, I was just really hoping you were black. And then Spider Man's like, I'm sure there's some out there in, in the universe. And mm-hmm. that's hinting to Miles Morales from yeah. the Spider Verse shit. Yeah. So they're going to have a black Spider Man in one yeah. of the new MCU movies. I hope so. Miles yeah. Morales is definitely one of my favorite versions of Spider Man. 100%. Tom Holland's Spider Man, I got to say, is number one hands. He's down. number, one. number yeah. one. This movie actually sewed that for me. Oh, yeah. Like, it sewed it up oh, for yeah. me. Like, the original Spider Man, uh, Tobey Maguire, he was amazing too. But Tom yeah. Holland, he just explores the character so well. Yeah. And, and he fits because he looks like a younger guy. Yeah, right. Fucking, uh, I Toby- think that's the mistake that the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies had he is that they like played him twenty-year-old, and they played him in like college in that movie, didn't they? Like he, him and Harry and I think they MJ. were in high school, but they were so clearly like they were like mid-20s. seniors though in high school, right? Yeah, they were like older in high school, yeah. like in fucking. Tom yeah, Holland's like noticeably like seventeen. Yeah, but like, you remember that fight scene when he was fighting the bully and like right, the, and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like all twenty year olds, but they're in high school. Okay, which makes it so unrealistic. Yeah, it just it didn't fit. Yeah. it didn't fit the comics. It mm-hmm. didn't really fit the storyline that well. But but again, they they just tied it together. Well, something. at the time, I mean, care like people caring about superhero movies was just not no, a thing. nobody cared. Yeah, no one gave a shit. So I'll say then because this trailer has come out. Officially on YouTube, the, mm-hmm. the Doctor Strange trailer. Multiverse I haven't Madness. seen it because I don't want to spoil it for myself. The Doctor Strange trailer? Yeah. What do you mean you don't want to spoil it? 
Because I haven't seen the Spider-Man one, so I don't know if there's going to be anything new. So oh, it has nothing to do with Spider-Man. But it's going to be after Spider-Man, right? It takes place after. Yeah, but nothing in the Doctor Strange trailer correlates with Spider-Man in any way. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Even timeline-wise, actually. I don't even know if it's... Timeline, it might be right after Spider-Man, but yeah, nothing is... Uh, mm. Well, you need to watch... I mean, we talked about it, but Supreme Strange is at the end of it, and... I can't fucking wait for that movie, dude. I need to because that whole what if episode. Like, I know. I need to that see whole that. what if episode. It was so good, dude. Yeah, it was yeah. so good. Is it that guy confirmed? It's that strange. Oh, it's Supreme Strange. Yeah, it's, yeah, Supreme it's 100% yeah, Supreme Strange. Yeah, it's a hundred percent Supreme Strange. Yeah, like he absorbed the Soul Stone like nothing, dude. Yeah, right. So I can't wait to see what they do with that movie. Um, but yeah, I was I was gonna see if you wanted the if you did watch it just to recap it because. Whew, those were fucking that that movie is so goddamn good. Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch uh, Shang Chi or anything like that? Eternals? You... Nah, man, I haven't been watching much TV as yeah. you can imagine. Just right. uh, reading audio books, kind of being boring lately, dude. Yeah, playing Halo. I'll say that much. Halo is fucking amazing, dude. Halo Infinite, I a lot of fun. Nearly beat the campaign. One of the best campaigns I've played in years. Oh, really? Years. Dude. I I read that the gameplay was a lot of fun, but the maps just aren't creative. It's just like. Dark, dreary map always. For what? The campaign or yeah. for the multiplayer? For the campaign. Well, the campaign's one giant open world map, so it's right. kind of it's kind of hard for them to change maps right. <laughs> if right. it's one open world map, you know? Right. I think the campaign map's amazing, dude. It's fucking massive, and you can yeah. go anywhere on the map you want because you've yeah. got that fucking propeller thing, so you can shoot all the way to the top The grappling of the map. hook, you mean? Yeah. The grappling hook is so good in multiplayer, bro. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So, do you campaign. play multiplayer at all? I, I play a little bit. Um, I play not, it pretty heavy. Yeah, not anymore because me and Jake just mainly play like Battlefield and COD still. So. Word. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Um, I do have some other bingeable shit. I can't think of it at the moment. There was some really fucked up good movie I watched. <laughs> Fuck. I don't remember it now. But there was the other good movie that came out that um don't look up on Netflix. Did you watch it? Oh, I wanted to watch it, but my dad shut it down. On Christmas, I went to go visit my dad, and I was like, "Let's watch this." She's like, "No, it looks yeah. okay." Yeah, I was like, okay. Damn, yeah, I really, that was an amazing movie, dude. Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, Jennifer all, Lawrence. I mean, Leo and Jonah—they're just such alone, a combo, dude. That's a movie. Such a fucking combo. Yeah. I'd watch the movie if Leo by himself was in it. I'd yeah. watch it, you know. Yeah. And just the fact that Jennifer Lawrence and mm-hmm. Jonah Hill and all these other great people are in it. Uh, Meryl uh, Sharp is. in I it. I heard it takes itself very seriously, but it's just over the top nonsense. Oh, it does not take itself seriously. Oh, really? No, yeah. But like what I mean to say is the characters are very like – Oh, yeah. The acting is phenomenal. Yeah. Like Leo, it, I almost feel like it's Oscar worthy, yeah. which is shocking because yeah. it's a comedy. It's like yeah. you got to watch it. It's yeah. amazing. It literally uh, – it just takes today what this society is and fucking rips it in half, dude. Yeah. The whole movie is just That's shitty. Cool. It shits on Trump, shits on his fucking cokehead son, mm-hmm. shits on the government, and it's lackadaisical and like uh, attitude towards everything. And it's amazing. It's on the nose. Um, and the ending's amazing too. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd watch it ASAP, but what? you don't have Netflix anymore. No, but I have torrent sites. So yeah. Netflix. I'd watch it Same ASAP. Shit. The Same movie's shit. incredible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's all I got from you, you know I'm bad at watching shit. Like right. nine times out of ten, you'll be like, hey, have you seen? And the answer is always no. Always no. Yeah. Always no. Yeah. You know. Sorry, dude. I'll try. No, yeah. I mean, this, I just this year, my new year's resolution to watch more con- watch more TV. Watch <laughs> yeah, movies. watch more shit. Yeah, watch more shit. I just know I'm like when I'm listening to podcasts and I hear them recap like a movie I've seen, I'm like, oh yeah, I love this movie. I want to hear what their thoughts are. Only reason I ever bring up bingeables. Yeah. I don't know if our audience even gives a shit. But... Maybe. Um, Maybe. I have to take a break. I got a shit. Usually okay. it's you. Usually it's, it's, it's me. It's me this Usually time. Usually it's me this Go take your shit, boy. I gotta poop. Go poop. Okay. Let's get back into this. If everyone in the world, and I guess I'll just say, I'll ask you this directly. So if you had one pipe that you could go into like in Mario, mm-hmm. and it'll take you to any other spot in the world, but you only had one. You can only place it on one other spot in the world. Okay. Where would it go? Can I take that pipe like multiple times or I can't only use it No, once? yeah. You can take it – you can use it as many times for the rest of your life. So it's like a free warp pipe to any one location. Yes. One free warp to any location for the rest of your life through like that pipe system. I, I think you might hate this, but it's really easy for me. Yeah. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Yeah. That's a good one. My house. Yeah. I have, literally have a house down there. Literally. So I'll be like, I want to go on vacation for the weekend. I'm out. I'm going to take yeah. Monday off. I just go to Puerto Rico. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah. Pop up. The noise, yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. 
you, 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 whatever that noise now, is. <laughs> now, what if you took this warp pipe and it shot you <clears throat> underground at hundreds of miles an hour in this little capsule and you're just like, <laughs> and, it's like <laughs> and it's like an hour, an hour ride and it's, hun- no, maybe thousands of miles an hour. Of an hour I would like, say thousands, dude, to get yeah. to the other side of the planet or yeah. wherever you want in the planet, you'd have to go thousands of miles. So you're, you drop in this pipe and it drops you in this little capsule and this little pill and you lay down feet first. And you just hold on to these things. And there's it's just dark, bro. You can't you don't have space to do anything. You're yeah. just there. And it just shoots you at a thousand miles an hour. Boom. Right. Yeah. You go flying. I would say that at, at the I'd end, it'll slowly get slower, slower, slower once you get up to the end of the pipe. And then it when you does. get out, you just have to like sit there for a second because you're still like the G force of going that fast. You know what I mean? Like if you got up quickly, you'd probably just throw up and smack your face on the dude. ground. Yeah. I'm claustrophobic as same, dude. <laughs> like I've never I've never considered myself to be claustrophobic, but I, I saw Tom Segura live in con in uh at a comedy show a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. I ever told you that? Yeah. So you talked about this, yeah. I was so fucking anxious just with my normal life that I went to this comedy show and it was so outrageously packed. There were people sitting on top of each other. Like I couldn't even use my armrest. I, I, I had a fucking panic attack. Really? Yeah. I was like, dude, this is from claustrophobia. Like I was just like, there's so many people here. Like I had to leave the building in the middle of the set because I'm like, I need a break. Yeah. So I went to go get a, fresh, a breath of fresh air. I don't know. Is um, that claustrophobia? I don't know. Maybe it was just like a, a heat of the moment. I'm not really claustrophobic. But if you put me in a tight space and then lock me in there and like, okay, you're going to be in there for five minutes, I'll, yeah. I'll start to hyperventilate a I'll little bit. I'll freak out if that I'll start to exactly. freak out a little bit. That's know? where I'm like definitely claustrophobic. Like I can go in an airplane bathroom. That actually doesn't like freak me out. No, it doesn't. You know? no. But like if I was in a, a locked tight airspace where it's like me to the wall <laughs> – I'd freak out, dude. I, I saw <laughs> I saw this video where have you ever been to one of those hotels where like they'll have rooms with adjoining doors? Yeah. Or like if you open a door, you go to the next room. So right. if you have like a family, you could get get both rooms, kid, mom, whatever. That's how my family did it. So I saw this video where these kids were in a hotel room where it had adjoining doors, but the doors had doors on each side of the rooms. So you can open your door, but if the neighbor didn't open their door, you couldn't get in. So there's naturally a small gap in between. Okay. Right. So these fucking sacks of shit, one of them stands in between the doors and goes and and they try to close it on him. But like he's so big that it just doesn't work. Oh. So finally they go one, two, three, and slam it shut. So this kid is stuck in between both the doors. And the and they go to open it, the fucking knob falls off. The knob falls so off. So this kid is stuck in between both doors like this, bro. Nah. Squeeze, bro. I would lose my shit. I would freak the f- I would start crying, yeah. bro. Those doors would break somehow. I would, I don't know freak what would happen. The fuck, bro! Yeah. It, just him waiting for the fire department to get there. Twenty minutes. Bro. Now, nope, nope. I need less than he, a minute. I need to get. He out is of that. stuck, <laughs> stuck, stuck. You cannot move an inch because yeah. you're stuck in between doors. Tasting bro. his own breath, like. But I don't even know if he could breathe. The kids started freaking out. Oh, yeah. You good? You good? And he couldn't even yell because he's so stuck, right. bro. Yeah. Well, it was just muffled, if anything, yeah. right? Dude, so I'd wait, freak out. Do you know if he could like feel like the door, like space where the doorknob I, I don't know. That's where the I would just out. fucking like, like I'd fucking rip it in half. Probably. Like, yeah. Yeah. As but much th- as I could. But they're doors, dude. dude. Yeah. Let's be real. Like, and like if, if so it's far. that, like if they had to slam it shut, now they, there's resistance. I, I want to see if I can find the video because it is as fucking crazy as it sounds. Like they had to. Lay, they tried to push it shut and it wouldn't close. Right, so like an to, inch. Yeah. So they had to force it. Oh dude. my god, I'd freak out. I'd, I'd my freak shit. out, bro. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know uh, if you're doing that in a public crowd at like a concert or something. Yeah. that might just be like along the lines of a panic attack. That yeah. might just be like, I don't know. I had some pretty rough panic attacks. I had one while driving. I had to pull over. That Me too, bro. Scary shit. Dude. I had one where like I felt like I'm going to die. Yeah. Like I'm gonna have a heart attack and I'm gonna die right now yeah. in this car. And I'm like, I had to control myself. Like, dude, you're not gonna fucking die. What was yours it's really okay. like? Mine was like I could feel and hear my heartbeat like over anything. Like it was like doo, 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 and I was like, I can't breathe. I'm freaking out. Like, yeah. I, it was that like I was sweating, like all that shit. Both like, my hands went numb all hands the way to the wrist. Cold, yeah. Like numb, dude. Yeah. Like, like I, I could feel my heartbeat just like you could. I could yeah. feel it in my head and my toes. Right. Yeah. You could, everywhere. You're just like, you're like, oh my god. And I just like, I had to focus on myself breathing because I'm like, if I don't focus on breathing, I'm gonna stop breathing and I'm gonna die. Yeah. You know, it felt like I was having an actual heart. Like it was crazy. And um, 
I was like, I have COVID. I'm gonna die. Mar- oh, lungs that was are recent. filling with fluid. And, yeah, like this is in the last couple months. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ! I'm That's, sorry. Yeah, no, it, ha- it happened only once recently. And then I got, I was on my way to a job to an appointment, and I got to the appointment, and I had to take a break for ten minutes. I had to sit down and just breathe and yeah. calm myself down and be like, I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, you know, and and I I didn't have that feeling because of any particular thought. It just I just had it like my fingers started going numb, and I just felt like I was gonna die. You know. But that was pretty intense. Yeah. Um, you just got to overcome it, bro. Just got to overcome it. And that's all it is. That's scary as shit. <laughs> yeah. Scary. I don't know. Doing that shit, yeah. We don't have to go into a deep dive on panic mm-hmm. attacks, but. Seriously. Um, that veered off of the uh, the warp question. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you said Puerto Rico. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with Greece. And I've never been there. <laughs> to a place you've never been? Yeah. All right. But. God, be dude, real all familiar. the pictures and, and videos I've seen are so goddamn beautiful. I, I really want to go to Greece. Yeah, if the ride to Puerto Rico is an hour, the ride to Greece is at least two hours, bro. So Probably. Both, yeah. well, so no. you think that, that tunnel, like thousands of miles per hour, Yeah. you think it'd still take like an hour? Yeah. Really? If you don't turn into actual mush during the trip, then yeah. Yeah. Because I think at that speed, you'd probably, you'd probably die. You'd be yeah. really close to dying. No, yeah, you yeah. might be right. Yeah. yeah. That'd be scary. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a weird question. Um, I had another uh, hypothetical to dive into. I don't think I have it on the top of my head, though. You ever seen Teeth? Yeah. I'm We've fine. actually talked about this before. Oh, we have? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. Then. Would <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> if they offered you the, the man's role in that movie, would you take it? They like, yeah. were gonna pay you like yeah. twenty grand. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like, hey, I'm acting. <laughs> yeah. Just step in the right direction. Like, but we have to f- actually cut off your dick. Like, ah, that's, that's okay. The, that's, that's the, the real part. Yeah, then. that's the real part. Okay, okay. that's but the like, catch. Yeah, we have to physically cut off your dick. That's how you get cast in the movie. Yeah. Um. Then still yes. Okay. Then yeah. still yes. Yeah. No. I at that point I'd say. Uh, can I at least have sex first? I'd be like, can I at least fuck the thing first, and then at the end it bites the dick off? They say no. Oh, then I'm not doing it. No. 20K? Nah. I could use 20K. Couple mil. To cut my dick off? You got to give me a couple million. I don't... Do you think it'd be worth it? Is there a price that you would put on cutting your dick off? Like, genuinely? Yeah. No, I probably would. Yeah. If someone's like, I will give you $10 million right now. If you dude, if a dude in a suit walked in that door right now and had $10 million cash right now and told you he'd, if you cut your dick off, he'll give you that $10 million, you're set for life. I feel like you'd do it. I don't think so. Really? Mm-hmm. Ten million? Mm-hmm. Because let's be real. I feel like I'd do it, but let's be real though. I'm like so young. <laughs> yeah, when you, yeah, there's so much sex I haven't had yet. Yeah, like, uh, man, I'm only 26. Oh, <laughs> like, I could uh, have so much more sex ahead of me. Dude. Yeah. Um, can you imagine a little guillotine for your cock? It like goes the blade back goes up to here. Can <laughs> you just watch it fall? So they just, made one specifically for cutting, yeah. for just a clean cut for dicks? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, this was made for sausage, but I mean, it works here too. It works so. here too, exactly. Yeah. Like, you're just a little too girthy for the for the yeah. whole, I'm, like, I'm sorry, <laughs> dude. Can you get soft? I'm like, I'm trying, bro. Yeah. You're like, this is exciting. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess now that I think about it, maybe I'm, I'm too young to cut my dick off for money, but... I mean, dude, we're really lucky that we're not physically deformed. I know, yeah. I mean, let's... I mean, we're blessed to have... I, I, I'm not trying to talk shit on anybody that is, right? Because obviously it's... No, fuck those weirdos. Control, fuck fucking, those weirdos. Fucking losers. Fucking losers. It sucks you weren't born that way. That's fucking so born dark. with no arms, you piece of shit. <laughs> That's so bad. Kill your... No. I don't like... Yikes. We are already uh, were thin line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're already... Too far. Dude. Oh, we're joking, we're joking. We can't be canceled because we haven't even begun. <laughs> yeah. And again, if they cancel us, dude, I'll come back tomorrow under a different name. Yeah. Okay. My name's Apes now. Brugio. J Apes. J Apes? Yeah. And my name is Plastic Rap. You went a completely different. Okay. Yeah. My name is uh, Parchment Paper. My name is. V- Vibrating cock ring. Welcome back to a podcast with vibrating cock ring and, and parchment you paper. Parchment paper. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the fuck did you just say? Like, I forgot the first word. I thought you said toilet paper for some reason. I, I'd accept that too. That's I'd accept that too. I'd accept that too. That's totally okay. Yeah. That's totally fine. Did, did we talk about, um? you know, Asa Hakira has a child. We did talk about this. 
and how if that fucks up her kid. Oh, I feel like yeah, this is a while we ago. We talked huh? about that a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw another thing about it the other day. Kim I Kardashian. Like, yeah. I don't know if this is recent, but I saw this video this morning where she's being interviewed, and somebody asked her like, "Hey, Kim Kardashian, is there anything on the internet right now that you're gonna have to explain when your kids are over and you're not looking forward to?" It? And she looked at him. She goes, "You really gonna ask me that question?" <laughs> She goes, yeah, I mean, the obvious video. Right. And then they ask her, well, what are you going to say to your kids? And she's like, I'm just going to be real with them. I'm going to tell them I fuck that. Yeah, good for her. Yeah. Well, what else would what you What else are you going to say? Yeah. Your mom's a hoe. Like. <laughs> yeah. It's Photoshop. You know, internet these days. Yeah, no. You're kids just gonna would be like, it. wait a minute. It's going to own it. Yeah. I mean, at that point, if you grow up and your mom's a porn star, it's just normal. But yeah. if your mom becomes a porn star in the middle of you growing up, <laughs> like if you're That's 14 so and your mom and you're like, your mom's like, I'm doing porn. I've been yeah. doing porn for the last six months. You're like, what oh my the God, fuck, dude. What dude? if like you, you go home and your mom's like doing OnlyFans? No, no, no. no. You I'd know? I'd freak out. Like a kid nowadays, the mom's like, oh, I mean, think about it. I have friends that have kids that have had an OnlyFans kind of recently. I don't know if they still have one. I have two. Yeah. It's, always, it's hotter when they're moms. I mean, again, they're but 25, 26. So. But let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. OnlyFans is not going to be around in, in 15 years. Maybe. It's not going to. Perhaps. No, no, no way. And, and if it is, <laughs> if it is, it's not like, what, what you you're going to go in there and find your mom? That had what thirty followers? Oh no! I mean, I don't think ago. that that would happen. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, I mean, just like a like, I don't know. But I don't know how that would affect a kid. I guess since this is at the end of the podcast and no one's fucking listening, I'm going to tell you something that I've been thinking about lately. And you tell yeah. me if I'm right or wrong. I used to be of the impression that mm. people are, for the most part, equal. And when I say people, I mean gender roles, women and men. And I still am to an extent. I think a woman can accomplish what a man does and a man can accomplish what a woman does. But let's be real for a moment. Okay. okay? <laughs> oh, no. Let's be real for a moment. If you're a woman, your intrinsic value to someone that doesn't know who you are derives from the way that you look. Right? I think that that goes both ways. Mm, to an extent. Because well, a, guess... man, a man can have intrinsic value because of his – Position and his status and his power. So yeah, that's what and I his was going to ask. Intrinsic value in the eyes of who? Just the general public? General public, gender norms. Like I'm talking about completely normal human roles. I'm not talking about the outliers in society. Okay. I'm talking I can about agree with that then. general yeah. gender norms. I agree with okay? that then. Yeah. For an ex- to an extent, a man's value is derived from uh, how handsome he is, how accomplished, how wealthy, what's his... Uh, uh, status in life, meaning like yeah. position of power, right? right? But if you're a woman, your main value derives from your beauty. If you're a beautiful woman, then you have more value than women that aren't as beautiful in the same exact position that they are, right? Yeah. So you almost are kind of saying the same thing. You're yeah. just saying like with guys, it's like if they're handsome, it's kind of a bonus, but in general, yeah. it's more wealth and status and correct re- reputation almost. Exactly, yeah, right. exactly, okay. exactly. It's 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 less physical, more the things you accomplish. As for a woman, it's more physical. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> I, I I personally <laughs> that's a, do. That's kind of a, a sharp take. It is honest. a sharp take, but it's kind of a new take that I've had recently because if you think about it so objectively, in this world, I mean, it confirms it today. Yeah, I guess you, I yeah, mean, you're right. Dude, I keep thinking to myself, but to the world, yeah, I think you're right. It, it, and and again, I'm not talking about the art liars. I'm just talking about the general public. If you take a woman, her her intrinsic value without getting to know her is based on her looks. Yeah. 100%. Okay? Yeah. So I, I don't know. It just got me thinking about what I value in a partner. I was Well, what that's I what I was thinking of because I was like, I don't know. I don't agree with that because like – if a girl doesn't have some intelligence to her, I, I can't deal with it. Period. Well, all right. It's gone. For me. But dude, but but dude, let me put it this way: you say that, but you are fucking with these hoes that don't have intelligence. Of course, but right? I'm not going to wife them up. Exactly. But right, okay. I don't know. There's a lot to be said. There, this is a good conversation. This is. A, this is a, <laughs> I feel like this is going to piss people off. But a hundred percent. But I've been looking at this, and I think it's objectively true. I think if you're a human, and I think if you have any some like sort of realism, and you try to stay grounded, and you're a grounded individual, yeah. you have to. I mean, the take that men and women are biologically different, and they have different biological gender roles. That even though today's society is very inclusive. 
those gender roles still play a part. Yeah. I mean, the fact that OnlyFans came out and half the girls that we went to high school with put up for $5. Yeah. I mean, that just proves it right then and there. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Not to say, I mean, there are men on OnlyFans, but yeah, there but isn't a market for it. I know. And it's, it doesn't matter to women as much. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's different. It's different. It is different. And and what I'm trying to say it right now is that my opinion on a general on the general public has changed. Yeah. I, I feel like right now I'm of the opinion that unless if you prove me otherwise, you are just a normal ass. Like like you're just a normal ass bimbo that I'm not yeah. gonna pay any attention to. I actually have another example of this too, to prove Shoot. your point. Shoot. There in the past like two or three years, the a very, very huge new market opened up of gamer girls. Yeah. That are just right. attractive, but right. they're terrible at the video games. Terrible at the video game. And they're not offer, great streamers, to be honest. Not good conversation. Exactly. They don't they're offer, just attractive. They're just attractive. They, they're just attractive. Oh. Now it, and there's nothing inherently wrong. Now there are a lot there of men. There isn't anything wrong with that. There are a lot of men, yeah. especially like those incel community that'll say, Oh, there's yeah. something wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that there because isn't that's anything. the way yeah. it's always been. And they have a lane as well. It's Correct. not like they like Guys know what they're watching them for. They know what guys are watching them right. for. So it's not it's not like anyone's losing. It's mutually beneficial. Yeah, it's for not. No one's involved. losing in the situation. And we're not saying all gamer girls can't fucking play video games. It's no, just, that's not. At it's all a very saying. common thing now. Right. Of right. You know. I I guess the point in me saying all of this right now is that the world is a lot less. Right now in society, it feels like the world, everybody has a million options and has the right to choose and there's so many different paths than there are and that's true. But let's be real. Everyone's going to take the same path to an extent. Yeah. To an extent. Yeah. If you're a girl with – all right. Let me put it like this. If you're a woman with a certain degree of attractiveness and you have a very – at this point in time, you have very little opportunity or uh, um, you know – uh, confidence or um, aspirations, right? And you're just like, I want to put myself out there for money. Like you're going, you're going to, yeah, you're going to, and that's the that's the norm. Yeah, that's the norm right now. Um, being a hoe is becoming socially acceptable, right? You know what I mean? Which is fine. I don't think there's anything well, inherently wrong with that. The general attitude is just sluttier. Today. Yes. The general attitude, yes, is very, very sluttier. promiscuous. And it's also female pro- promiscuity. I is, think that goes with guys too, though. Yeah. It's it, it does, it does, but male promiscuity has always been there. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. But women are just catching up. <laughs> women are just catching up. But like back that in is the, true, because yeah, that's a good point. Guys were always fucking we always. were always the pigs, you know what I always. mean? But now girls are now girls are doing it too. Mm, and now it's socially acceptable. This is a great fucking conversation. But it, it, I don't know. I, I agree with everything you've been saying so far. And obviously, it sounds like it could ruffle feathers. But yeah. it's, again, it's not negative. I don't know. It's not like a yeah. bad thing. And there's yeah. always going to be people that aren't doing this. There's right. going to be girls that just happen to be beautiful, but right. they, they're they not hoes. And they they have fucking ambition and all these other right. roles and exactly. shit. And we're not fucking singling people out. But this is the general – Right. this is how the society is now. This is how the world works right now. And, and – it's changed and it's changed so dra- drastically that what the future is going to bring, it, who knows. That being said, the world's not going to fall apart. The yeah. world's not going to collapse. Right. People think that we need to go back to you know when we would go at war with each other and the men, fighting age men would fight for their countries normally. No, I, I don't want to go back to that. Exactly. I think yeah. the world's moving on. I'm, I hope that – that's a good thing that we moved on. Like People yeah. are always like, oh, like the – like the hard times make good people. It's like, well, they don't have to anymore. I'm, I'm going to put this no in the word. Have you seen, dude? I know you've seen this, and this is gonna. This is the main reason why I'm like the way I am right now. Mm. Have you seen YMH with Cobra Tate? Yes, dude. <laughs> I I gotta be real with you. Andrew Tate. Is I that fell in love with Andrew Tate. I'm not gonna. Lie. I follow him on all social media. I've watched hours of his content because yeah. at first I'm like, this guy's just a misogynist prick. But if you fucking listen to I him, I was gonna say, I he's listened to that real whole as episode. shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And he tells it how it fucking is. And if you are any sort of educated and any, and if you are as open minded as you think you are, you're gonna listen to him. You're gonna be like, this motherfucker is right. Yeah. 
and again, it, uh, people – he just chooses to carry himself that way and he's right. very confident in it. Right. And if you don't like it, you don't have to associate with it. Right. It's like he's not attacking anyone personally. 100%. And, and people and, don't understand that. And people don't understand. And, and the thing is you can also filter what you take from him. Of course. I want to be real with you. I do think to an extent Cobra Tate is – to an extent, misogynistic. Yeah, exactly. Misog- I do too. I 100%. think there's a lot of him that does carry that trait, 100%. but he he's not meaning it in a negative way, in my opinion. I don't right. think he's purposely degrading people. He does, right? His intent is not to degrade yeah. the other person. His intent he's is real. He's, he's just real and he is very real about his value yeah. and what he wants right. and what he wants the people around him. Like the woman around you, him, what value do they have? Yeah. What do they bring to the table? And there are women who respo- who love that attitude. Absolutely. There are women who would – who prefer that that attitude mm-hmm. and that way of living. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's not, I don't know. When you hear it on a surface level, you're like, eesh. Yeesh, right? Like, oh. like, okay. Because he really leans into it really of hard. Of course. But yeah. I, I got to tell you, I have really been consuming his content because the more and more I listen, I'm like, this guy is just, he's so right. Yeah. Well, Kevin Samuels is on that same kind of path, right. to be honest. And mm-hmm. a lot of people give him the same shit. He just, he has a little more swag to him, I mm-hmm. think. But he's mm-hmm. on the same He's on the same path. I don't know. That's they keep it real. They keep it real. Dude, that Cobra, that Cobra Tate episode was so fucking. That was amazing, dude. That was an amazing episode. Hour forty minute episode. Yeah, incredible. I watched the whole thing. I watched it multiple times because I watched it twice back to back because I'm like, this guy. I would listen to it. I'm like, this guy cannot be this wise. This guy cannot be this intelligent. Like, yeah, he's so. He was on like previous YMH stuff that I've heard before. And well, they him, used to make fun of him. Well, I've heard him just in clips, and then I heard him on yeah. on uh, some other podcast where they were making fun of him, but some dude on the other podcast, I think it was Mark Norman, was like, I mean, he makes a lot of good points. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. right, exactly. Know? And again, if you're a man, or if you're a woman, if you're any kind of person that considers himself to be a realist and open-minded and intelligent, you have to listen to his content and be like, there's a hint of truth in there. 100%. You yeah. have to. there. And if you don't, then you're not as open-minded as you think you are. You're not as intelligent as you think you are. Right. I'm just going to tell you the, that's the way it is. That's And a lot of that's times, like, if you're talking to someone like that, mm-hmm. most people, because he's coming off with that assertiveness, they they want to interrupt him and they want to say something. It's like, just listen to just everything listen to he said. Right. Think about it. Then make a response. Now- Because that was my- I was guilty right. of that. When Me I first too. heard him, I was like, Me too, man, bro. this mother- And I this was like, hold on. Just, just give it a second. Just give it a second. I um, consider myself to be a feminist. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, I kind of- I, I backtrack. I really do. I, I think there's a place for feminism and I think that there's a benefit to it. Right. But I, I think the general- ass, I, I think it's gone too far. Yeah, no, I think I we've too. gone too far in the other direction and, and we do have to do – because it has to be a balancing act. Yeah. You know well, again, I, mean? I don't think feminism is really that big of a deal. I think just social media blows it up. Like, I do too. Like yeah, everything totally. else. You know and, what it, I mean? and that's just the way it is. Yeah. Um, but consuming this guy's content, I'm just of the opinion – and it's changed my thought process, right? Um, I, I still am a very uh, um, monogamous I will never be poly- polyamorous because right. I'm not emotionally there. Yeah. I, 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 I cannot either. emotionally be polyamorous yeah. because it would bother the shit out of me. Right? <laughs> so in that way, I yeah. don't follow those the same ideology that he has, but in another way, like Yeah. It, there there's some truth to it, man. No, I, and that's 100%. What I'm to that was a good fucking conversation. Fucking shout out to Cobra Tate. I feel like we Andrew need to Tate. yeah, Andrew Tate. I've uh <sighs> You're gonna hate me for this. Oh no. I bought into his content. What do you mean? I bought into his Hustlers University thing. Oh, why? I paid 50 bucks. No. Yeah. Not 50. Yeah. Man. It's I, real though, dude. It's I've, real shit. I've, but, I've had that exact same thing through. There's this Russian guy who did something like this kind yeah. of in a workout form. But yeah. in like 2009, that sounds exactly like Andrew Tate. Yeah. That was only like – it was like eight bucks at the time. But yeah. I when I heard it and I was like, oh, I'd pay for that. And then he's like 50 bucks. I'm like, I don't know if I'd spend I, 50. I think it's fucking worth it, bro. Yeah. Because – I, I've been reading through the – I read through it every night, an hour, just because there's so many lessons and like just ways to make money and, and ideologies and ways to think. Um, it, is it's it like, so beneficial. It's almost like taking a class or a course, right? No. You sign up and they send you a link to a Discord. You join the Discord and in the Discord, it gives you a tutorial on how to consume the content, what to expect. There's about 7,000 people in there right now. And it basically, once you complete the tutorial, it brings you to this category page where it goes, what do you want to learn more about? 
Do you want to sell stuff on Amazon? Do you want to join cryptocurrency? Do you want to copyright? Do you want to uh, do drop shipping? Right. Okay. And, it, and you pick on that category and it gives you a step by step tutorial on how to learn that industry and what it takes to make money in the industry and, and how to do it. Testimonials. Right. Obviously, you have to take with a grain of salt. But I'm personally on the crypto and on the um, stock side of it because I think it's really interesting. And I mean, it's objectively, it's ob- objectively informational. Yeah, you're not sitting there, and they're not telling you you can make a million dollars. No, you're sitting there telling you if you want to trick a thousand dollars into fifteen hundred dollars in a week, possible. Dude, that sounds like a business possible. masterclass. That's what that sounds like. It, to me. it is a literal yeah. business masterclass. So, okay, it, he it's didn't, super realistic. He bro. didn't sell it like that. That's yeah. not what he he sold it. A little differently. If I knew that's what it consisted yeah. of, that's worth fifty. It's bucks. super fucking real, dude. Bucks. So like, I'm on the crypto side, and it's yeah. like, how to read the market? Yeah. What are the terms? Right. What do you have to learn? What? And it gives you videos. I've been watching thirty minute, forty five minute long videos every single day, yeah. multiple times a day. And right now, I have a notebook. I wish I brought it, and I didn't. I have a notebook on stock terms. Yeah. On what a limit dude, I orders show are. You my fucking market stocks orders after are. This. I'm huge into stocks. Are you really? I'm not into any of the crypto shit. I'm yeah. not going to buy into. That until I'm later in my life, but yeah. I'm like, if I showed you all my stocks Your right now, you'd be like, "Holy fuck!" That's I'm not, dude. And I and I have this. I'm a single guy with all this expendable income. I should get you into it, dude. Let me get you into it. I'd love that. Yeah, we should definitely so talk about easy. it more. Yeah, because I, me being a guy with expendable income, being like, how do I break through in this industry? But there, and Andrew Tate, he has this video where he puts it really well. If you sit in a room for forty hours a week mm-hmm. with five ice cream. Uh, guys that run ice cream businesses, right? Different uh, franchisees for Ben and Jerry's. And all they talked about for 40 hours a week with, was ice cream. And you sat there and you didn't say a word and all you did was listen to them. Mm-hmm. In a couple weeks, you'd be incredibly knowledgeable. A couple months, you'd be a professional. You'd know everything about ice cream. Right. Why not do the same about anything else? Exactly. If yeah. you want to learn how to sell shit, fucking watch content on how to sell stuff. Yes, right. If you want to learn how to Dude, do I stocks, say that. just watch videos. Yeah. Just I watch say, them. Buy books. Just read Every them. Every time I, I, I want to learn more about something, piano, chess. Yeah. I have books. I have piano books, just chess books. watch videos. Yeah. Read content. Listen to an yeah. audio book. Consume that content. Consume that content. Yeah. When you're bored, when you're sitting on the toilet, dude, I'm laying in bed and, I'm, and I put in... Uh, Andrew Tate podcast. What is he talking about? Right. I just have it playing in the back. I want right. to see what he's talking about. I want to see, dude. And it, and it's just consuming valuable content. No, I fucking I up. love this fucking energy because this is what I was talking. This is what we were talking about at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. This is like our fucking grind for 2022. This is where I'm at. This right is now. the fucking shit. This, this is, is where I'm at. I'm consuming valuable content. Yeah. And you know, let me. I'm gonna put a super real. If I don't invest in one stock in the next month, and all I do is consume content. I'm totally okay with that. Yeah. Because where I will be at the end of the month versus where I will be at the beginning of the month are two completely different places. Yeah. It starts right. with one step. Yeah. So I'm I'm consuming Hustlers University. If you want me to, you know, fuck around and, and send you some of the stuff there, you're not supposed to, but I fucking will. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, sure. Me I'd, I'd fucking it. Love is it is so fucking interesting. I'm always dude. about. Actually, let me show you right knowledge. now. I got it on my phone. Let me yeah. show you a little bit. I don't want to show you too, too much. I know. I low key want to show you my stock shit after this, too, <laughs> just because I, I want to get yeah. you into it, dude. Like, yeah. I, I have a lot of fucking money in stocks. Right I, now. I never have. I've yeah. always been interested. This is grown men talk, by yeah. the way. This isn't, we ain't on comedy shit right now. So. This is the category page. After you do the tutorial, so what do you want to learn more about? Financing, right? Affiliate marketing, uh, e-commerce, e-commerce right, right. and Amazon FBAs, right? Crypto, this is what I'm a part of right now. And the last one, stocks and options. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, what do you want to learn more about? What yeah. do you want to consume? And the reality, man, is I'm, I'm – have you ever read The Alchemist before? Uh. In what by, Paul, by Paul Coelho is a book. No. The Alchemist by Paul Coelho is a story of about a boy that goes on to find his personal treasure and doesn't give up. And it's basically mm-hmm. about not giving up on your dreams. Okay. okay? Yeah. But in the book, he has a quote, which I really love. The boy is sitting talking to an old wise king and the king tells him, the king goes, humanity's biggest lie. And the boy goes, what is that? And the wise man goes, humanity's biggest lies. At some point you tell yourself that what happens to you in your life is out of your control and you simply have to respond to it. And that's the biggest lie that humanity has told itself. Yeah, right. You're never 
out of control of right. the things that happen to you in your life. I read a book You're like that too. You're always in control, always. Yeah. And it's so fucking true because your parent, my fucking parents, at one point they just decided I'm going to work this fucking uh, a nine to five. Right. I'm going to invest in real estate. I'm just going to build for my children. Yeah. Right? And that's the grind. And I don't rag them for it because they did it very, very well considering. Right. And if you're raising a family, sometimes you need to do that You need that to do that, stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's the biggest lie I ever told. Yeah. If, if you want something out of your life, you have to go create it. Right. No one else is going to. And, and it starts with learning. Yeah. Um, so. I, it, honestly, it really just starts with taking initiative. Yeah. If you don't end up taking that first step and you don't do 100%. it, you never will. You never like, will. You, you need to take the first step. You got to mm-hmm. go and do it. And then it doesn't stop. No. And and you can't have unrealistic expectations of like, I want to be 40 and not be working. Like ideally, exactly. you know, I, I love to be there too. Yeah. But I'm probably not going to be 40 and not be working. I'm probably going to be 40 and, and ideally running a couple businesses. Yeah. And having multiple, having multiple investments. Right, right. So I yeah. can have my own. Financial freedom to me doesn't mean not working. It just means having control of doing the things that I want to do. Yeah. On a daily basis. I'm I'm pretty confident that I'm I'm going to have or have a pretty close margin up to a million by the time I'm 40. And yeah. I don't mean like – I agree. In money, in cold hard money, just in assets. Maybe if I have a house, if I have fucking enough in stocks, I have enough in savings that it, it's up to a million. I, I'm confident I will be there by the time I'm forty. I want to be there by the time I'm thirty. That I mean that that would you know be nice. I mean? Yeah, that's just the, with what I have planned. I don't. Right. I can't see it being possible. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, your journey is also very creative because you create content. Right. Whereas somebody else's goal. Well, you're you're. It's so funny that I'm bringing this up. Your intentions and the content that you produced is art. Right, somebody out there whose only intentions are to make money, they won't create art. They'll just go out and make money. Right, and you're gonna say, "Oh, how does he do that?" There's so many fucking ways. I was gonna say, I'm gonna be investing in building property, never mind stocks, and then side business shit. Still gonna be producing. Still gonna be making music. And yes, the music part is going to be 100 percent subjective. That's all art. But I mean, we could just sell merch, little shit, e-commerce. You know. This is almost e-commerce. Mm-hmm. Money from affiliates, sponsorships, right, right, all that shit. Um, yeah, absolutely, man. I think, I think you just gotta pick a goal and, and yeah. go for it. If you want to create art, go create art. If you want to make money, go make money. And there are many ways to do it. So. This is gonna be a grown twenty twenty two. This is grown. It, it really, it's gonna be a very disciplined twenty twenty two. I mean, my friends the other night were playing video games, and eight thirty rolls around. Eight thirty rolls around, and um, they go, "Oh, let's play another game." I go. I'm a man with discipline. I'm I'm hopping off. For right. Yeah. I'm good. I'm, I'm gonna go. Off. I'm gonna go listen to my audiobook. I'm yeah. I'm gonna consume a couple of videos. And I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah. And that's gonna be the grind. Um. And the grind inherently, the grind means that eventually we'll stop. So I don't really like the word the grind. I'm actually kind of changing it to just this is just what I've got to do. Right. Yeah. This is just the routine now. This, this is the routine. Yeah. This is just discipline. Discipline. Twenty twenty one. Twenty two. Yeah. Sorry. I know, 2022. It's wild. It's already 2022. It's fucking crazy. It's insane. That fucking 20 and 21 flew the fuck by, dude. (laughs) The last two years fucking. It's almost like they didn't exist. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's fucking wild. I know. Um, Do you want to wrap up? Because that was a great conversation. Or do you. uh, Okay. I was going to say, I have another really hard deep dive we'll go into, but we'll go into two hours if we do that. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm positive. Um, All right. Well, if you know it's going to be that long, we'll see. It's a techie sci fi kind of conversation. Let's say I got to take a shit. Yeah, we'll see. Hit me with one more thing before we before we end. One, one more one. thing. Um, let's do a gun to your head. I haven't done one of those in a while, All right? right? Cool. Hit me with it. Um, you are colorblind mm-hmm, mm-hmm. starting tomorrow for the rest of your life. Easy. Or you have a a a, a funk, a ball funk. That colorblind, you colorblind, never... <laughs> colorblind, 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 colorblind. You can never get rid of. Colorblind, 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 colorblind. <laughs> that colorblind, was colorblind, so colorblind, fast. Colorblind, colorblind, colorblind. You don't care about colors. Blind. You care just. I I hate smelly people. I do too. Yeah. I that, hate. I try to think smelly. of something fucked up. Yeah. Dude, I and the ball smell. Yeah. It's real. It's real. You ever like? This is how, especially Man, when, especially when I was a kid and playing sports. Oh yeah. You yeah. get home from school after playing all day, and you yeah. don't take a shower, and you wake up the next morning like. My nuts stink. Dude, I remember that when it first started happening when I was a kid. I was yeah. like, what is that smell? And I was yeah. like, holy shit, this is my balls. These I was are my like, balls, I've never dude. smelled this before. I know. That was like I puberty know. right there. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. it's happening. And it's a fucking real smell. Like, in high school, there are these kids, dude, and I still run into these fucking people all the time where 
you just walk by them the right way and you get a whiff of their personal scent and it's yeah. just arm I still walk, yeah. balls yeah. Yeah. ass right is good in in English there's not a good smell for it it's just bo yeah in Spanish we have a great word for it grajo it smells like grajo that, that does sound nice grajo. you smell like fucking grajo, grajo kid grajo what's grajo balls armpit yeah sweat just shit just altogether. shit <laughs> it's it's personal funk yeah. grajo the smell is a huge bro. thing for me dude that massive is a, bro. that's a real big massive. one for me okay uh you're colorblind or you lose sense of taste still 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 colorblind, still colorblind right eat, i'm trying to think colorblind ain't eat. that bad but colorblind doesn't mean you see him fucking sepia in black and white dude no you know i know what i mean yeah yeah I, I had a friend that was colorblind dude i, I don't think i've ever told you this story uh, I was working at a restaurant and I had this meme that said, fuck the colorblind in one of those colorblind palettes. Like if you're colorblind, you can't read it. Right? Okay. I thought it was really <laughs> funny. So I'm like, yo, bro, read this. And I showed it to him. He looks at it. He goes, what's that? I'm like, that's pretty funny. Huh? He's like, uh, what's funny? The dots? I'm like, what it says. He goes, what does it say? I'm like, it says, fuck the colorblind. He goes, I don't see anything. I'm like, bro. And I and I wrote it out for him. I'm like, it says it right there. He goes, that's all one color. I don't see anything. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you're colorblind? He goes, what are you talking about? I'm not colorblind. We did tests. And he's fucking – we discovered it right he then and there. He didn't know. He was 23 <laughs> years old. He didn't know he was fucking colorblind, dude. Damn, dude. So he probably just like – he assumed that red was just whatever he saw yeah. of red. He never knew, bro. Damn. He never knew. And then we – that he was a certain – like he was red, <laughs> blue, colorblind. crazy. He just couldn't see like red, blues the right way. Okay. So I was like, you're fucking with me, right? He's like, no, dude. Like I cannot see that. That's I'm like, fucking I'm like, wild. We scrolled, dude. We were – Dying laughing. We're like, you probably fuck- thought he was kidding too. Yeah, you're probably I thought he was just like, joking. You're probably dude. just like, all right, good one, but that's funny, right? And he's probably like, I really don't. He's see like, it, I really don't see it. I'm <laughs> you're like, like uh oh, <laughs> you're fucking with me, right? He's like, no, dude. And we were serving, so he walked away and came back, and I was still yeah. freaking out. He's like, dude, what? I'm like, look at these. What do you see? He's like, nothing. I'm like, what's that? What number is that? He's like, I can't see that number. He, go, I go, what number is that? He goes, I don't know. What number is that? Yeah. Three, because it was a different. Okay, type of color right, mark. right. I was like, no. Fucking way! You're That's colorblind. fucking wild. Man. And the best part about it is he's a clothes designer. What really? Yeah, he's a he's a clothes designer. Yeah. So he can probably see like a purple violets. He's just the red yeah. blues are bad. Yeah. He's okay. A, I feel like red blues or blue green or something like that. I don't right. Know. Right. I've I know. I've heard purple violet is a common one where that's mm-hmm. all they can see. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's a legit clothes designer, and he dresses really well and that's like so really funny. good at color matching. Yeah. I'm like, that's so funny, dude. You have yeah. no fucking idea. All right, you go on a date with a girl, and she doesn't tell you beforehand, but when you show up, you find out she's blind. But she's very, very good at hiding it, so she's mm. very good at all her other senses, but when she looks at you, it's like kind of like, <laughs> you know, like an eye's like, <laughs> and they're just stiff. They never move. <laughs> like she's blind, like black, nothing? Or like legally nothing blind? Less, like nothing. But she's oh, wow. like extremely good at feeling senses. I mean, if like, I really like her, I guess I'm... I'm she's just... beautiful, gorgeous, yeah. hilarious, smart, you yeah. know? But, yeah, right. If but all the those eyes are just like, like they're googly-eyed, you know? One's up, one's down. I'm like... not looking into her eyes during sex. You ever, like, <laughs> you ever look at a girl's eyes during sex, yeah. right? Like, it gets real passionate? Yeah. Either though she's like... <laughs> <"Eesh." laughs> I'd be like, uh, Why do we have to give that noise to it? That was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? It's just not fucking... <laughs> That's so fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that is super fucked up. Would that throw it off for you, though? Um, like everything yeah. else about her, you're like, yeah, damn, but but like, can you wear shades? Like, <laughs> but she's probably gonna wear shades normally, anyways, right? I don't know. If you're but actually blind, you're probably wearing shades. Probably everywhere, though. Yeah, just const- So I'm gonna. Yeah, be that's what blind here. people fucking do. No, nah, dude. A lot of blind people don't wear shades. Yeah, but do do do. But legally blind and being blind are two completely different things. I have a, a, my friend's husband is legally blind, and we were playing Smash a couple weeks ago. Well, he just I've, had to sit really close to the TV. I met a, a blind person, a hundred percent blind, and his eyes were actually white. It was really cool. And, and he just had him out. He yeah, he never wore shades, but his eyes looked fucking awesome. Well, I, it's like, a personal like a preference, demon. I guess. I've yeah. seen a lot of blind people with shades on. I have too. Yeah, that's yeah. like the more common. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. But. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would probably throw it off for me, but honestly, if she was cool enough, I'm I'm a I'm a sucker for for just could becoming friends with people genuinely. So if I just happen to like her company, I'm gonna be like, fuck. Yeah. This is gonna suck during sex. <laughs> yeah, big time. Big yeah. time. You're you wanna like, go baby. watch a movie? Oh. <laughs> like, baby, I wanna go here, but I don't drive teen drive. And she just looks at you. She goes, Really? With those fucking Can I and yeah, like, can I drive? Yeah. Really? And she'd be like, okay, I'm sorry. 
I would 100% make jokes. You know, you have to roast her for it. Yeah. If she can't take it. Well, like, can't you see what I mean? Yeah. Right? I should be like, no. Yeah. I can't. Let's get the fuck out of here. Thank you for tuning in to the Brutal Fucking View. It's episode 76. 76. 76. Fruit and Splitch. Fruit and Splitch. We'll be back uh, next week. Yes. Hit us up. Or don't. Yeah. We don't care. We don't care. But thanks for tuning in.